Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing video for you guys today. I jumped over here to Zillow.com and I went and I clicked on the for sale sign and I clicked on foreclosures because I wanted to see you know, what kind of foreclosures we have going across the country. And as you can see, there's definitely a lot of foreclosures, especially in the bigger cities, especially in the cities that, you know, basically had a huge housing boom during the recession. So if we just look and we say, let's just start at the bottom. We look at Miami, Florida, look how many foreclosures there are. There are now, you know, as the rates keep going up, guys, as we have, you know, um, it becomes harder to borrow money. Basically, if the economy starts taking a dump and we start seeing more layoffs, you're going to see a lot more red dots, a lot more foreclosures. Right now, it's not crazy inventory. But again, you know, if you ever wanted to get a great deal on a house, I mean, they're still so, sort of expensive. But yes, absolutely. Foreclosures are definitely sometimes the way to go because, you know, you really do get a good deal. Although sometimes a house could be a little bit beat up because when people walk away from their house, sometimes, unfortunately, they leave it pretty nasty. But that is, you know, that's the price sort of you pay to get a really good deal. Now, if we keep looking, I mean, there's definitely a lot of foreclosures. I definitely encourage you guys to, you know, when you start looking at, um, on Zillow for homes, you know, click on that foreclosure, see what's out there, see if there's more popping up. Look at Orlando, not that many, right? Not that many foreclosures. I mean, Orlando is a big city and I could count these in, on my hand. Uh, I'm also not seeing, when I look at this on the side here, I'm not seeing a lot of uh, basically price cuts because they wouldn't be price cuts, right? This a foreclosure is basically the bank coming in here and, uh, you know, trying to, uh, to get rid of the house because the owner could not pay for it. This is the kind of things you will see as a foreclosure. Basically, whoever lived here decided they, you know, they didn't want to pay anymore. Nobody owns it. Well, this looks like it's been abandoned for some time. Somebody definitely walked away from this house at some point. Now you could get it for 160,000, 2,000 square foot, 3,000, uh, three bedroom, three bath. But again, it's it's completely destroyed, right? This is uh, sometimes it could be good. Like you could walk in here and do some crazy crazy negotiations but just looking at this is a complete teardown i mean it's not even worth fixing maybe you could keep the foundation or something but that's what you get when you start looking at foreclosures again you know you could definitely get some good deals from time to time they're just a lot of headache they're a big headache you know because it, the paperwork takes a lot longer it's not like you could just buy a house right off the bat uh, like if you would like traditionally right now here look at this New Orleans seems to be having a few foreclosures again sometimes you are going to see that forecl foreclosure homes are a little bit more on the beat up side right it's normal you're not going to find many one million dollar foreclosure homes you know as as much I mean you do find them you definitely do find them look at this Houston has it's you know has definitely a few again I definitely think we're going to see a lot more of these now, if I start looking like this one, for example, look at this foreclosure, $100,000, 1,400 square foot, three bedroom, two bath. This one, obviously look at the garage. I mean, it's, it's, it's beat up, but that's what you get, right? That's what you get in these foreclosures. This is, you know, someone was in here, they couldn't pay for it and they walked away and the bank basically came in and took over. Now, this isn't the, this, this house actually does have bones. You know, maybe it's somewhat of an easy fix. I mean, you come in here, change up the kitchen. But here's the thing. It's $100,000. So imagine you you have $100,000 cash, $200,000 cash. If you're like a small business contractor, you come in here, you fix all the leaks, all the different things. This looks like it could have been some type of, there's a lot of damage here. Maybe there was mold. Maybe someone beat up the house or whatever, right? There's crazy circumstances, but there's possibilities where you can make money. Now, this stuff gets kind of crazy right here, you know? Uh, this is obviously a complete uh, remodel. Um, there's a lot of work, but you know what? You throw $100,000 into it, $150,000. Now you got a really nice house that you could hopefully sell for $350. So you buy it for $100, you put on, you know, another $150, you're up to $250, and you know, you sell for $350, that's $100,000. Um, you know, maybe if it's the right neighborhood, it could definitely happen. And you just made $100,000 in a few months, right? I mean, how long would it take to rent, renovate a house like this? Uh, so, Again, I like how they put this pretty furniture, like right in, you know, in this 
complete disaster of a house just to you know make it look a little bit nicer i guess to show the potential i mean i wonder if this is even real i maybe this is like 3d animation just to kind of give you an idea of how things could look yeah it is 3d animation it's not even real photographs again this is uh that's the foreclosure you know that's what you get and to some people i mean they they only look for foreclosures look at this no foreclosures in austin texas weird huh the very very weird now i like i said we're gonna be seeing a lot more foreclosures in the in the months to come as the economy really starts slowing down look at california you know this is what happens when you have very expensive homes people can't afford them anymore riverside look at that a lot of different foreclosures over here if we just look at one let's see these are all very expensive again california even if they're in foreclosure they're still expensive look at this here's a two million dollar foreclosure i guess this guy you know was making the big bucks bought a beautiful house and then ran out of money and now is you know in some ways giving an opportunity to someone to come in and pick up this house for a lot less right maybe I mean, depend. I mean, over 5,000 square foot, this is considered a mansion. You know, the, I guarantee you the banks do not want to hold on to this. It seems like for 2 million bucks, it seems like a, actually a decent price. I would have to look at where the location is. Look at this cool room. So this was actually a really nice uh, house. I wonder what happened to this person. You always got to think about the stories behind who, you know, who's walking away, what happened. Uh, in their life that they had to leave this beautiful home. I mean, just to get into it in the in the first place, you have to make be able to make some money, and having to leave. I mean, you know, that's that's the stories, right? Like this, this person's business go under, or, or what happened, right? Always, I'm always interested because you know that is a big house in general. And someone with money had this house at some point, so you need it. You need it at least the money to get in. Anyways, that's the story with the foreclosures, guys. You know, obviously. Um, the biggest deals are going to be completely disasters. Look at Vegas. Look how many foreclosures in Vegas. I mean, when you think about like Vegas versus like Austin, probably similar size cities, I would think. And look how many foreclosures there are here. This is a clear indication, man. Vegas always goes up and down like crazy. Uh, you know, that's the story. So right now, guys, my, my, um, my advice, and I'm, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Look at Chicago. Look at all the foreclosures here. Uh, my advice right now is to hold on. If you're looking to buy, right now is not the time to buy. Prices are going to be coming down a lot in the next few months. And as a, and we're going to have more inventory. So you're going to have a lot more to choose from for a lot cheaper price. But for right now, you know, it's just looking at it, looking at what the market is doing. Because a lot of like what, you know, what happens to businesses, you know, if you start seeing a lot of layoffs, come back here, start looking at the foreclosures on Silo to get a better idea of what's happening to the market. And if the, if you start seeing more red dots, then that just goes to show that prices are definitely going to be coming down. And right now, I could tell you it's definitely a buyer's market. So, um, you know, buyers are calling the shots, although right now still prices are really high and we have to kind of let the game play out. We have to let things cool off and it's kind of, it doesn't happen overnight. It definitely doesn't happen overnight. So guys, you know what? Let me just jump over to show you mortgage rates now hit a 14 year high, kind of scary uh, of anybody looking to, uh, to basically, uh, if anybody is in the process of getting a house and they didn't secure the loan this second, they might not be able to get the loan. They might be priced out. Unfortunately, if we look at the Redfin weekly market housing data, we could see prices did stabilize for this little period right here, but I guarantee you in the next few months, we will be crossing that 2021 level um, because the you know, market cannot sustain itself with these high interest rates. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the video. I just wanna say a big thank you to everybody who uh, has been supporting my channel and liking my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. Now, I wanna just say, if you want me to make a video on a specific city, uh, please go ahead and uh, comment down below, let me know and I will make you a specific video and uh, I'll, I'll share it for everyone and we'll all get to learn about this specific city. Now, if you're new to my channel and you like my videos, please don't forget to smash my subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.